When Röntgen discovered x-rays, he could take pictures of the bones inside of his hand. Where would doctors, dentists, and injured athletes be without x-rays? But what if you just wanted to look through the bandage to see how the skin was healing without seeing all the way to the bone? Well, x-rays can't do that. That's one of the many, many promises of terahertz technology. Well, what is terahertz radiation? Electromagnetic radiation is all around us. Some of it we see as light. Some of it we can feel as heat. And some of it we know is there when we turn on the radio. Now, all of these types of electromagnetic energy have in common that they are waves that travel at the speed of light. So that's what they have in common. But well, what is the difference between these? What is the difference between a radio wave, a microwave, a terahertz wave, an infrared wave, a light wave, an ultraviolet ray, and an X-ray? Well, I have here a apparatus called a traveling wave machine. And this demonstrates waves that have a uh, very slow speed. But it lets me get across a key point. Uh, each, every wave is characterized by a frequency and a wavelength. The frequency is how many times I move my hand up and down each second. So this is a low frequency, and this is a higher frequency. And the wavelength of a wave is the distance from the one maximum of a wave to the other. So the frequency and the wavelength are inversely related. On the top, you have a picture of a high frequency wave that has a short wavelength and on the bottom, a low frequency wave that has a long wavelength. Thank you, Ben. Ben is uh, this guy. Uh, we can uh, turn up the lights now. Um, uh, ben is, ben, ben is going to be helping me uh, throughout this lecture. Thank you, Ben. OK. So the difference between these different kinds of waves is their frequency and their wavelength. So uh, as we go from radio waves to x-rays, the frequency increases and the wavelength decreases. Here is a simple chart that shows the frequency and wavelength of four familiar kinds of electromagnetic radiation. We already have the technology to manipulate and detect these types of waves very well. Now, here is the type of uh, radiation that we can detect most easily. So could we uh, kill the lights? And now, uh, so Ben, uh, thank you for uh, opening that up. So, if uh, you can look over there onto the screen, you see the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, green, uh, red, sorry, I, I missed one. We should, we, we should know this. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So um, now Ben is going to, for those of you who couldn't see those are, uh, see the, the demonstration up front, those are the colors, uh, th those, that's a, those are the colors of the rainbow. These are the colors that we can see with our eyes. So now, Ben, please unlock, unblock the other lamp. Now, Ben just uh, unblocked a lamp that contains a gas of atoms, a gas of mercury atoms, and these atoms are excited electrically, and you see that this lamp emits some of the colors of the rainbow. So we've got yellow and green and indigo. So 
is there anything on this side of the rainbow? Well, let's see. We can't see anything with our eyes. But as I bring this in, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see? Uh, there's a, a line here, a, a little weaker line here. What's happening is that these, this is ultraviolet light, which is landing on the paper and uh, this phenomenon called fluorescence. We can't see the ultraviolet light itself, but it gets absorbed by the paper and re-emitted as light that we can see. So there is something on this side of the rainbow. And I've filled that in where you see the arrow on the chart as uh, ultraviolet light. Okay, thank you, Ben. So, now the uh, obvious question is, is there anything on the other side of the rainbow? And uh, now Ben has turned off uh, both of the lamps, and I'm going to turn this off, and it's going to be completely dark. Okay. All right, Ben, can I have the infrared camera? So this is a uh, camera that can see in the dark. Uh, this is an infrared camera that is, oh, I've got to make it dark. OK, this is an infrared camera, which is detecting infrared ray waves that are just on this side of, of the rainbow. Now. What this camera is detecting is essentially the heat that I'm, that I'm emitting. And uh, now I'm going to actually turn this uh, camera and uh, have, let you have a look at yourselves uh, on this infrared camera. Uh, so, and what I'd like to, yeah, let's, let's have some, that's great, okay. So, now, and what we're going to do <laughs> is uh, we're going to look around the room, and uh, yeah, wave. So you can see that all you guys with glasses, you look, you look really cool. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they're, they're, they're not dark glasses, uh, um, but they look dark here. So now I, I'm going to look around and scan the room and see uh, who in the room has the coolest head. So a cool head will show up as uh, dark. And facial hair also shows up as dark. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a there looks like there's a cool head over there. Yeah, I see a cool head over there. OK. Um, so, these, this IR camera, this, this is incredibly fun. I'd like to thank Phil Lubin for uh, letting us play with this. Uh, this is his. And actually, this camera was made uh, in Goleta. And Goleta is actually the capital of the world in making the technology and the cameras for uh, seeing in the infrared. Um, I'd like uh, a couple of uh, volunteers from the audience, please. Do I have any volunteers? Yes. OK, come on up. Um, so we're going to uh, start looking at different things uh, with this camera and to see how they work. OK, so get in front of the camera here. Uh, Okay, so uh, get back a little bit. Back a little bit. Okay, great. All right. So, what's your name? Sonia. Sonia. Oh, I know you. Okay, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Hi, Sonia. Welcome. Okay, glad you're here. Now, I'm going to give you a piece of ice to hold in your hands. Okay? Ready?
Look at yourself on the screen. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, now take it, take it out, take it out of your... Oh my God, your mother's going to kill me. <laughs> it looks like you're bleeding. <laughs> okay, um, well, let's see. Do I have uh, another volunteer? Thank you very much. Let's give a big hand for Sonia. All right. Thank you. Any other volunteers? Okay, come on up. So, what's your name? My name is Kurt. Kurt. Nice to meet you, Kurt. Okay. So, this is Kurt. And I'm going to give you a, a nice cup of warm, warm water. Uh, so the warm, I'll give you a cup of ice. <laughs> I'm going to give you a cup of ice to hold in the other hand. It's kind of dramatic. Look at, look at yourself now. <laughs> okay, now, yeah, see, you, you can uh, rub your ice. Yeah, if you, if you, you cool down, it takes a while for your skin to warm up after you've put ice on it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> OK, let's have a big hand for Kurt. Thanks a lot. OK, so we can now uh, fill in another part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So that is the infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum, it's a uh, longer wavelength than uh, uh, longer wavelength and smaller frequency than visible light. Now before, uh, now I, I want to do, uh, do some experiments, uh, a few more experiments with uh, the camera. And uh, so Let's uh, turn the camera back on, and let's see what this camera can see through. So we've seen it can do something that we can't do with visible light, which is it can see in the dark. And that is, 